Good morning! How's it going? Right then, so the last video that I did with me and Dan, we was here. Uh, it was too long to put together that video and this video, so two smaller videos instead you're going to get. The last one was about 20 minutes long, so I'm not going to make them too long at all. So anyway, nice and quick and easy today. We're going to get on with it. This is where we stopped uh, the last last time we was here. We uh, we was fishing over there where the van is, and uh, and now we come back, and I'm going to do down this little side here of the canal. I'm just going to do this bit here today because on the Sunday when I was here, uh, I was actually catching on to a few things that were down here. So we're going to see what we can catch out of here today, and. Uh, Let's see what goodies we can find while Dan's not here. Right then, let's get on with it. 500 kilo, double sided, the beast. Let's get it on. Release the beast. We'll have the first three as normal, live, and then I'll cut it off. Okay, first chuck, two pence piece, there we go. Morning. Morning. Second right. chuck. We've got a lovely little hammer there. Another hammer. Look at that one. Nice little claw hammer there. Brilliant. Sorry, what? It needs a good magnet. This one, mate, will pick up 500 kilos. That's about, uh, what, 1,200 pound in, uh, in old weight. This will pick up, mate, no problem at all. And we've also got there a little drill bit, as you can see. It uh, looks like a little 10mm drill bit. Marvellous. <laughs> so that's uh, chuck number two. What are you doing anyway? Oh! It's a very strong magnet, mate. And what we do is, uh, anything that's metal, the magnet sticks to, gets it out of the canal, cleans oh, it. Right, right. We just get all the rubbish out of the canal. Is that right? Yeah, well, it's, only a, it's a hobby that we do. Uh, oh. We all do it for YouTube, you see. We've, we, that's what the camera's on for. Uh -huh. Film myself for YouTube and people watch me uh, actually doing it, getting it out. Uh, and luckily now, Christmas is here. Finished work last Friday. I've got a nice good few days now where I can get out in the week and uh, do a little bit more magnet fishing. But yeah, it's quite a big, it's quite a big hobby in the UK now. Yeah. There's quite a lot of people doing it. So uh, this, this magnet that I've got on the end of here, 500 kilos it'll lift up. It's absolutely, it's a monster, mate, this Move magnet. Over. It's called the Beast. Move over. Yeah. Well, uh, that's, that's my YouTube channel over there on that little sign. That's uh, what people uh, tune right. into. Okay. Follow me and, uh, and watch my videos. And that's the, that's the name. Magnet Man Hulahan. <laughs> it's like Hot Lakes Hulahan. You take care. Yeah, you take care as well, mate. Chuck number three. We've got ourselves a nice pole there now. Look at that. See? There we go. How good's that? Nice big pole. Nice and solid that is as well. So that's great that. Okay, okay, right, that was the third chuck. Uh, you seen what I had then was the pole. Uh, right. I've had the ammo, I've had the coin. I'll switch it off now and uh, as soon as I get anything else, I'll bang it back on again. Okay then. Right then, so past five minutes, I'll just show you what I've had. I've had uh, an old part of a, a spanner. There you go, bit broke that. That's not going to work again. I've had another screwdriver, little yellow handled screwdriver there, flat headed screwdriver. There we go. Got a pair of pliers as well. Must be like a little tool area around here, about the look of it. 
I've had cassette, VHS. Kids won't know what they are now. No chip. No chance. Pair of scissors. The small pair of scissors there. I've had as well. And a, a set of keys as well. With a little uh, yellow green tag on the end. So, uh, as you can see there, we've well, got two, four, five, five little keys there. God knows what they're off. There's, uh, there's nothing on the tag to say what it is, so I don't know. But yeah, that was in the last five minutes, that. Marvellous. Right, completely confused here now, not a clue. It's got a kind of an handle on one side there, obviously for gripping, holding on for something. But then, I don't know what what's going on with it at all. Not a clue. You know what? I don't think it is, but do you remember one of the machines that used to cut the meat? That you used to see in the old butchers? I'm wondering if it's part of one of that, you know, because uh, like I say, it's got, it's got a little handle there. It's got another little bit of... Can I clear any of this stuff off here or what? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, it's got like a spring on it there, at that side. So, do you know what I mean? What, what do you used to have in the old butchers? It's got a little something there to keep it held onto something as well. So, do you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. Anybody's got a clue what that could be, please leave a comment. Because that is really strange. Especially with that handle on the underside like that. For you to actually to, to grab hold of. It's as if you, you, you push it for some reason. I think it's one of them old... Things that you used to slice meat up with in the butchers. I could be wrong, it could be something completely different, but anyway, anybody's got an idea, please uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you. Another pram. This is the third pram we've had now in two days while we've been here, me and Dan. Oh, hey, booming. Get out. So uh, this one is called a uh, Cassatio. A Cassatio. It's been in there a while because uh, there's an absolute cracking fishing lure attached to it. Have a look at this cheeky monkey. I bet, bet somebody was a bit uh, cheesed off when they lost that one. Look at that. Little white fish. It's got a lovely trace on it as well. Little spinning thing at the front there. And some weight. It says on it uh, SG at the front. An SG. Yeah, look at that. Nice big hook on it. I like that. Oh aye. Quite a bit of fishing line on that as well. So uh, looks as though somebody's uh, just got it snapped and it's, uh, well yeah, cracking little fishing lure. Look at that one, beauty. All right mate, all right. <laughs> just check, just check the buggy again. And <laughs> there's another, there's another lure. Look at that one. Another, another wire trace on it. Another little, uh, only a little red thing this time, I'm not sure what. Never seen one like that, it just looks like a piece of tubing with a little treble hook at the other end of it. But uh, yeah, another one buggy, two lures, coffee, and a mince pie. Merry Christmas, one and all. A nice uh, four way spanner for uh, taking off your wheels on your car. How good's that? And it's uh, made in Britain. I think it says, yeah. A wench. It's a wench. Wheel nut wench. It's a wheel nut wench. There we go. Four way, nice one. Okay, so I've got another, another head of an hammer. As you can see there, on that side of the magnet. Another side of the magnet. I've got a spoon. You know what? Do you know that little games console that I showed you on the last 
the very last video. I've only found the controllers for him. Look at that. They're the controllers for that actual for that game. Player left, serve. Player right, serve. That's how they used to play them. That's the control. You used to turn. Oh, the knobs fell. Me knobs fell off. Never mind. And then you got a little push button there. That, they're the controllers. Hey, look at that. How mental is that then? Hey. All you kids out there who've got your Xboxes and your Playstations that's got 20 buttons on, you can do this, that. That's all you ever had was a little twiddly knob and a little button that you used to press. So that's come off that console that we found yesterday. Well, not yesterday, on, on Sunday. How good's that? Not a clue what this is. Not a clue. Some weight to it, though, whatever it is. Not a clue what that is. Anybody, uh, anybody know what that is? Not a clue. Blue in colour, blue and green. It's got some, it's got some writing at the top there. Danger, it says at the top of it. Oh, is it, is it something off the railway tracks, maybe? Electrical conductor? I don't know. Some weight to it though, I know that. So anyway, a lot of people will tell you. I'm not really into my football. Not into it at all. But I do know one thing though. This t-shirt. Umbro. And on the front of it, it says. Sharp. Umbro, sharp. That's a Manchester United top. Now, it is, the badge. The badge is there as well, only just, very faint. This, really, really old. I've not got a clue what year that the uh, the team used to wear this type of uh, clothing. But, uh, I'm actually going to give that a clean up at home and see what what it'll look like but it's an old Manchester United top how good's that? right then roundup time I'll show you now what I had from your last video and this video as well not a lot all the scrap metal that we left out from yesterday from on uh, Sunday has already been taken so the scrap metal that you actually see today is just what I've had out today myself uh, all the scraps gone but all the smaller items I've saved from Sunday just to show you now. Right then, let's uh, let's show you. Okay, the white mat. Here we go. So we've had a pair of scissors and a spoon, the light off a bike, an Allen key, uh, a drill bit, one of them containers, gas canisters, a uh, couple of fishing lures. Look at that one, that's a that's a beauty that one, isn't it? Look at the eye on that. Looks real that looks dead real that doesn't it? It's like a little little trout or something, a little salmon, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, a belt buckle, a lock off a door, some keys, a few coins, uh, the wheels from the underside of a uh, an Uber, an old Uber. Look how many batteries we've had out as well. What's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven batteries there as well. These were the bits and pieces that we got out of that uh, little leather couch, little leather pouch yesterday, uh, which was like the little knife inside there, and the the, uh, the nail the nail uh, manicuring set thing. I think that's what it is, a manicure set, to be honest. A uh, nice big treble hook as well. You can go over there with the uh, fishing lures. So yeah, and two pairs of uh, nail clippers. A big pair and a small pair. So yeah, uh, we've had uh, part of a push bike today. We've had a couple of poles, a couple of steel rods. Uh, we've had this uh, telescopic handle, 2.1 meters. Uh, XL Technique. The handle of a golf club. 
we've had today as well. Uh, we've had that Umbro Sharp United top. Looking at it there now, because that because that H is missing there. I don't think we will be keeping it. But everything else looks uh, just needs a, a really good clean. That doesn't it really? You can just make out the Man United badge there at the top there as well. Then we've had the Kiddies Buggy, uh, Costo, whatever it's called. Yeah, see there. But that thing. So we've had. Thought at first this was a gun, but it's not. Nothing like a gun. It's a big piece of solid piece, whatever it is. Uh, got that. We've uh, we've got this. I think it's an exhaust or the bottom part of a leg off a table. One of one of the two. Uh, nice uh, old hammerhead. That's okay. That that will get to clean that up in shed. We've had a couple of these things for the uh, railway tracks. We've got a red one there, another one here. We've had this off the railway track as well, the little less thing. Uh, little lock. That's the uh, the thing for taking your tyres off, the wheels, nuts. Uh, the other ammo we've had. We've had a cassette, VHS cassette, old cassette. This transformer, not sure what that is, not a clue. Pair of pliers, screwdriver, an old adjustable spanner that's knackered. Uh, we've had this thing as well. I'm not a clue what this is. I think it's I think it's something to do with the railway track. Because it actually says on it there, danger. Something to do with the uh, electricity by the look of it. I think it's come off the railway track. Uh, this thing here I think is a uh, for dispensing like uh, hand cream and stuff that you screw to the side of your bench and then you put the, the container inside there and you've got the angle bars off a mountain bike and I have found out now what this is uh, it, is, it is actually for meat cutting bacon in a butcher's uh, it is, that's what it's for so as you can see there the other part must be in the canal somewhere. Must be. So uh, yeah, that's that. We've had absolute bucket full of rubbish in there. Loads of fishing line, all sorts in there. Absolutely all sorts. So uh, that's about it. All the little bits and pieces. Get them all put to one side for the scrap man. You see in the seat there for the mountain bike as well. And. Uh, That's your lot. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and uh, tell all your friends you know the score. Take it easy.